Welcome back to Aquatic Australia. I'm your host, Sharky Jones, and today we're diving from the motor vessel Ballot and Jack. And we're diving on the wreck of the Gemini Barge in 30 meters. The barge was sunk in 1993 as an artificial reef, and it lies upside down in 30 meters of water. The sides of the wreck are coated in large, colorful, soft corals called Dendronepta. The wreck landed upside down, but it has large holes cut into the hull so that divers can get in and out safely. There are lots of nice swim-throughs and holes where divers can search for crayfish. My buddy James is looking in holes for crayfish. Today though, there are just not many. James finds no crayfish inside the wreck today, and I didn't find my Wobbegong shark, so we move outside. Finally, James finds a cray under the side of the wreck. But disaster, it slips out of his hands while putting it in the bag. I move on up to the top of the wreck to gain time, passing over fields of dendronet for soft corals and schools of fish. Suddenly, I see a shape emerge out of the background. Superbly camouflaged, I spot a large Wobbegong shark. Wobbegongs are bottom-dwelling sharks, part of a family called carpet sharks. Generally, they're passive and with small teeth made for crushing craze. They're generally inoffensive, but unless provoked, and then they can get grumpy. They have lots of whiskers and ornate tassels on their chin. These help them to taste the bottom and find food, as well as providing camouflage. Their flat, flexible body, they hunt creeping through holes in the reef, eating preys, mollusks and fish. Meanwhile, their superb camouflage helps them to hide from predators, blending in the background, as well as to ambush prey. Eventually, after posing for photos for a long time, this guy decided he'd had enough of our noisy bubbles. And with both our air and safe dive time running low, we head back to the anchor line for our slow ascent and safety stops. Our second dive is at 20 meters ledge, a wall that is an offshoot of Staggy's Reef and runs for several kilometers. The western, seaward side of the reef has gentle slopes of kelp, but the eastern side has a steep cliff. The eastern wall has long gullies formed where overhanging rock fell a long time ago. On top, there are lots of hard corals. I find a school of coral catfish. Normally, these are only found in the coral reefs up north. Due to warm and cool currents meeting, Perth is a funny mix of tropical and temperate climates in one place. The canyons on the east side of the reef remind me of the trench run seen from Star Wars. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Lock air spoils in attack position. We're passing through the magnetic field. Hold tight. Put your deflectors on double front. 
Accelerate to attack speed. This is it, boys. Red leader, this is gold leader. I copy, gold leader. We're heading for the target shaft now. They're in position. I'm going to cut across the axis and try and draw their fire. Good enough, sweetie. Here, there are a lot of ledges, many with their stock and crayfishes. With air and bottom climb running out, it's time again to ascend. I hope you enjoyed the dive and will join us again next time, and may the force be with you. Let's take a look at the still photos from the day.